Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PostgreSQL on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So there are several ways of downloading and installing Postgre on your Mac operating system. We are going to see one of them, which I feel is the easiest way. So just search for PostgreSQL on your favorite browser. And then in the search result, just click on the option which says postgresql.org. So we need to go into this website, which is postgresql.org. Just go into that website and then just click on the downloads option. And here choose the Mac OS option. And here you will uh, see several options to download. So first is the interactive installer by uh, enterprise DB. Second is the graphical installer by Big SQL, and the third is Postgres Postgres.app. So we are going to choose the third option, which is Postgres.app. So just choose uh, this option and just click this link, which says Postgres.app. Okay, so I'm going to just click that link, and in here, uh, this is the download button for Postgres.app. So I'm going to just uh, click this button which is going to download the .dmg file, okay? So I will wait for uh, the download to complete. It's about 147 megabyte file. So it will take some time to download. So I will just wait for the download to complete. And then we will see how we can uh, start our server and how we can connect to our server. So now this DMG file is downloaded. So I'm going to double click on this DMG file and I'm going to minimize the browser. And first of all, it's going to open this DMG file and then it will ask us to copy this uh, DMG file to the applications folder. So we are going to do that. We are going to just grab this uh, icon and then place it to our applications, which is going to start copying this uh, Postgres SQL. And once uh, this Postgres is copied into our applications folder, I'm going to just close this and then I'm going to go to my launch pad. So just go to the launch pad and you will be able to see this uh, icon for the Postgres. So I'm going to double click on this Postgres icon and then it's going to verify this application first and maybe it's going to give us some warning. And now I'm going to just click open here, which is going to open this kind of interface, right? So uh, we can see first of all that uh, Postgres server is not running. So we will first of all initialize the Postgres server by clicking this button. So just click initialize first of all, which is going to initialize and most probably start the SQL server. So you can see this uh, status here, the server is running now and you can see uh, these uh, users for the databases, right? Now let's go to the website once again for uh, this download page. So just go to the same website, postgresapp.com from where we have downloaded and we will scroll down a little. So you can see we have already executed the second step, which is initializing. Now the third step is to configure your path. So we need to execute this command in order to uh, just configure the paths. So I'm going to just open the terminal first of all, and then I'm going to just copy all of this command from sudo to the end of this command. So from sudo to here, I'm going to just copy this command and then paste to my terminal and then just press enter, which is going to ask me for my max password because I have used sudo here, right? So it's the max password. So I'm going to give the max password and now this path is set, right? So once this path is set, you can just write uh, PSQL command here and then press enter. And then it says uh, PSQL is, cannot be found because we need to restart our terminal. So I'm going to just close the terminal and then restart it once again. And then I'm going to try to connect to the Postgres user, right? So I'm going to minimize the browser. And then you can see there is Postgres user, there is your username, and there is one more user here, right? So I will just give a PSQL command and then minus capital U for the username and then Postgres, right? So Postgres 
is this username this one postgres right so just write postgres and then press enter and now you are in the interactive shell here you can uh, execute some command so for example i want to list out all the databases so i will just write backslash list here and then press enter which is going to give me the list of all the databases you can see uh, postgres is there uh, code bind is there and the, these two template zero and template one is there right so in order to create a new database i can just write create database and the database name so i will just write test uh, db for example and then semicolon semicolon is really important here so just don't forget to give the semicolon after your queries and then press enter which will give us this result create database that means the database is created so we will once again give this backslash list command and see if it's there or not so you can see this new database is created which is test db right so in order to use this database or in order to connect to this database i can just write backslash connect test db okay so backslash connect test db and then i'm connected to the test db database right now in order to connect once again to the postgres uh, database i can just write backslash postgres instead of uh, test db so just write uh, backslash connect postgres and press enter and now i'm into the postgres database if you want to delete the database we can just write drop uh, database and then the database name which is uh, test db in our case and then press enter which will give us this result drop database and once again when we give uh, this list command now this database is no longer there right now let me once again create this database using this create database test db command because i want to show you uh, that this database is shown in this uh, interactive uh, ui also so you can see uh, this database is created right and once i drop this database this database will be uh, deleted from this ui also you can see here so this is how you can download and install postgresql server and interact with it using the shell on your mac operating system i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now